And I have the pleasure to welcome in studio Noam Cohen. You are the survivor of the Nova Festival, and you feature in that music video we just saw. It's called Noam Song 2 on YouTube. Yes. Uh, also with us here in studio, Mao Ashkenazi. You guys are both childhood friends. You uh, co collaborated and wrote together this song. Um, and also Dean Perlis, you were the director behind this powerful video. Thank you for joining me. Um, Noam, I want to start with you. Um, yes, of course. What pushed you to make this song? I think uh, that this is the way that I chose to handle all of the what I've been through. And me and Mao actually did something similar. Uh, in the past, we did a song together on a story that I've been through. Um, so it was like obvious for us to just meet up and make this project. In the video, you, you really give us a play-by-play -play of the sequence of events that happened on October 7th. That must not have been easy for you. I, I see you even now when we watch the video, you're going like this. It, it brings up a lot of emotions, a lot of trauma. Yes, of course. The shootings were a little bit uh, trigger for me. Quite. Uh, triggering, but uh, it was for a good purpose. It was uh, made to... Uh, someone that doesn't know Hebrew to understand what the song is talking about, to understand my story in yeah. a visual way. Uh, so yes, this is it was very important for me. And, and Dean, you directed th this video. That also must have been difficult for you to direct this. It was a very, very different experience from what I'm used to because usually, you know, I, I direct music videos and I write the script. Right. And usually I make up a script for the video, for the purpose. Then I'm writing down, like, no, I'm laying on the ground surrounded by dead bodies and realizing that it was a real scenario. This happened. It drove me to different places I didn't even think I would reach as a video director. Um, it, was, it was very, very, very... The second I... It started off when they uploaded a video to Instagram, them singing the song, and I saw it, and I said to them, we have to make a video for this, document what happened. And uh, I don't know, the whole process was so emotional and like heavy, but uh, I'm very happy that we did it because it came out. So am I, because it's a, it's a very, very, very powerful video, and I and I think it really gives, especially for younger audiences uh, who are so much on on social media, the power to really see what it was like for you. Um, all three of you are, are artists. Um, how do you feel about the international music industry's reaction uh, to the attack on the Nuva Music Festival? And do you feel like they've condemned what happened enough? Do you think they've spoken out against it enough? Uh, you, they can do a little bit more. Uh, but I saw some articles that are uh, um, on, like, on our side and understanding what we've been through, and especially on the trans uh, scene. Um, but yes, I think that people just don't really know what's happening there and even th when we show them like proof, so they say now Living it's fake. Living proof. Yeah. So now it's fake, it doesn't happen, people chose to ignore it. Um, yes, but uh, you can always do more. And Mao, you and Noam, you guys grew up together. You wrote this song together. Um, tell me a little bit about the process that it was like for you guys writing this together. Um, so in the first day, um, I understand that Noam was in the party. And uh, I go to him to his house after a few days to see how he feels. Uh, and then after a few hours, we talk about to do this song. Uh, we want to tell his story. Well, right away, you guys were like, yes. we have to do something. I feel like me and Norm, we deal with problems in our life in art, in writing songs, in video clips. So I was happy that he, he want to make a song. Um, and we just, uh, a few days, this is all, all what we do. Like all day we sit and write the song and then we make a clip and we upload in Instagram. And it was like two million views in two days. Yeah. Um, and I'm happy that Noam was really, really strong to tell his story. Um, like Noam, this. I, I want to ask you, for you, was this 
therapeutic to write this song? Was it difficult? What was it like for you? I think that, uh, first of all, there was some parts that it was a little bit uh, difficult for me. So we knew to understand the situation and to stop whenever we want and to continue. We, we controlled this. It was just me and Mao. But uh, I think it was like a therapist uh, uh, take care, like, what you do in, when you go to psychologics so what you do especially on trauma you're gonna you wanna repeat the situation the scenario that what happened and to release the you know tension from your unconsciousness mind so this is what we did pretty much we just talked about it and wrote the specific uh, word that described what I've been through uh, you know we tried to make uh, the, the video clip and the song not too much graphic for the audience we, uh, we wanted the audience to hear this will be a little bit more w wild because if we're gonna say what exactly we've been through there so not everyone can watch this yeah. it's not about age it's about feelings yes I, I can't imagine how you're feeling these days. You you mentioned in the song you you survived three times and, and you lost you lost friends in this attack. You almost lost your own life. How are you coping these days uh, with all this with all this trauma? We're now two months later. Uh, the, I'm, I'm still I'm, every day that I wake up in the morning. I'm I'm living this like as a survivor, you know. Uh, but I'm. Uh, I'm an opt I'm optimist man in my my life. It's not about uh, it's. I've been through a few things before what happened, and I always choose to look to see the the optimist side and see the good things uh, because all the world right now, all of Israel, especially Israel, have a reason to be sad, to be in down, and to look at the bad things. But I think that uh, it's like a test on those kind of uh, things that happen. We need to prove ourselves that we can look on the bright side. Very optimistic and, and very brave young man, Noam Cohen. Thank you very much, Tim Pernis and uh, Mao Ashkenazi. I want to thank all three of you for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you.